Hi, I'm Roger Blue, Senior Ecologist at the Idaho National Laboratory. This fall we planted 5,000 sagebrush seedlings on a small portion of an area that burned 15 years ago. The seedlings were grown in a greenhouse from seed collected here at INL. It takes just a few years for our native grasses and wildflowers to recover after a fire, but it can take about 100 years for sagebrush to come back. Planting sagebrush gives us a jump start on restoring habitat and seedlings with well-developed roots will grow quickly in our desert environment. By planting seedlings, we hope to reduce the recovery time for sagebrush by several decades. Why is this important? The Department of Energy Idaho Operations Office entered into a conservation agreement with the Fish and Wildlife Service to protect sage grouse and their habitat. This is a voluntary agreement that includes a commitment to work toward habitat restoration on burned areas of INL. One of the key features of this agreement is that by protecting sage grouse and sagebrush habitat, we also protect DOE's mission-related activities at INL. So what does that mean to you, and how can you help? The success of the conservation plan and protection of DOE's mission capability depend on our ability to stop the loss of sagebrush. We can mitigate past losses by planting seedlings, but it's a slow and very expensive process. The primary threat to sagebrush is fire. About half of the sagebrush lost at the INL site over the past 20 years has been due to human-caused fires. For the most part, these fires are preventable. Vehicle exhaust systems can, and do, start fires. So keep your vehicle on established roads. If you must smoke, use your ashtray. Be especially careful on those very windy, red flag days when a small spark can quickly blow up into an inferno covering tens of thousands of acres. Whether you're doing hot work in a remote area or simply driving your car between facilities, please do your part to prevent wildfires and to protect sagebrush.